the bonnet is kind of covering the light. So it's very dark in here. I didn't think about this when I put the lights up, did I? I'm gonna take the box out of this, which is really oily. I'm gonna strip the front end as well. Probably take the rack out, arms, all the track rods, hubs, the lot, that's all coming out. Obviously I'll have to take the downpipe off, all this shielding here, and then take the subframe off. I've very WD everything. So hopefully it doesn't give me any problems. Cause it's a little bit crusty. Man, it's so dark in here. Anyway, yeah, crack on. So this is the boring this is the boring part before the fun starts, but exhaust off. Got this front brace off that goes across the two chassis rails. Rear brace off, under tray off. Just gonna take the uh, prop off now. Undo these, undo these four bolts. Uh, and then this should slide off here. Come off and then basically I'm just gonna leave this on the box because it makes no, no, it makes no odds if I leave it on there, it's probably easier. Uh, and then Effectively, just undo these, and then there should be some bolts in here, usually, on torque converters. Oh, it's probably going to be in there. That's a head torch. Use code Aiden Templin. This part of the prop shaft, you're gonna probably wanna keep. Everything up to the release bearing is different between auto and manual swapping. Now, if you get your lever bar in there, turn the engine over, there is a bolt in there. There should be about three, three or four bolts in there, probably say three. You have to undo those because you'll be trying to pull the box out and it will 100% not let go until you take those out. Trust me, ask me how I know. Right, some time has passed. Just letting that drain out now. Undone all the bolts. Done a couple of bell housing bolts there. Now onto the higher ones, which are up here. So tight up against there. So you need about 700 extensions with a UJ on. And then an impact. And hopefully, again, it works. Look at that. Man, what a stupid design. Hopefully. <laughs> In the end, I ended up just doing it with a ratchet because there's too many, <laughs> too much of this shit, a gun. So yeah, just do that for about four hours. If you're doing this on your back, fuck that, fuck that. Don't pay me enough. This one isn't even the top bolt. And it's just so hard to get to. I'm not, if I get it out, I'm not putting it back in. Here on this box, right? So I'm trying to get this bolt and this bolt out of that one. Um, this is, the the tunnel is like here and loads of sound in is like here. So it's a nightmare. But I managed to uh, drop the subframe down on their bolts. Oh, you're not going to see them turn the light on. Just drop the subframe so it hangs down. You get that just that little bit extra room. And uh, hopefully I can get it out now with 15 million extensions. I hate this. This is not good. I'll try and show you. So if you look all the way up there. So far away. You don't even need a wobbly because you've got so much flex on the extensions. It is a nightmare. Get a ramp to do this, get a ramp. People do this on the floor, and that ain't me. I don't think I've forgotten anything. What is that? And hopefully, it doesn't fall. That's, that is well on there. It doesn't fall when I'm doing this bolt here. Oh fuck, uh ah. -uh. Hmm, hmm, less than ideal. Good job I don't need that, isn't it? Mm.
I moved this out of the way so that won't happen. The filter has escaped. Talk better. Nice. Oh, 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 oh dear. That took a bit of a hit. Oh dear. It's good because this box is broken anyway. Fuck. That was really scary. It's pulled all of my sound deadening out. Why would that happen to me? <sighs> Clean the floor up now, ish, anyway. So, you need to take this flex plate off with all these bolts, obviously. See, there was the one, two, and the three that I undone with the torque converter. See there? The rear main is also slashing out. Jesus Christ, is there anything else that I need to change on this thing? It's a constant list of stuff. I guess this is what they said when they said E36 depression. I'll get that on order then. The starter motor has to come off as well. Even though the guy before me, he uh, changed this to try and get it started, which looks, yeah, it looks like a new one. Newish, good new used, but you have to change it for the manual swap apparently. Not that I can see much of a difference, it maybe it just comes out further. There it is. <laughs> what I did notice is like a copper brake lines and fuel lines and any bit copper looks quite good and new, like you'll see around the back of the tank here. All the brake lines have been done, so that's good. I'm gonna drop the subframe now. That's the next job, I think. Imagine I took this wheel off the other day. And today, it's literally sheared off and rounded itself off. Did even do it up tight. I've never done that in my life. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. I just smacked a 16 over the top and it broke. Shout out to the Ed China gloves, but fucking hell. <sighs> Should have used this 16 mil impact instead. that I did forget about all these wires until it was hanging off them. I think they're all for ABS and traction control and stuff which we're not going to need. Anyway, that goes on the back of the diff. Anyway, that's all out. Obviously I've got the trailing arms and all this stuff so all I need is this bit. That's all I need. All the rest of this can be sold on to someone else that is interested. It's a disc, disc conversion, so, you know, someone will love that. Just need to order some poly bushes now because I haven't ordered any yet. Fuck. Oh my God, again.
everything is now stripped. Those halves literally seized into the struts and everything. It's like they've never been removed. Same on that side. I've got to strip that. This is a boring video, but it's part of the process. I'm going to let all the fluids drain out overnight and start putting it back together.